So we're preparing to make our own mandala, and I want you to get familiar with this process of making a wedge that you'll later turn into um, a whole mandala. We're gonna do um, a couple of different mandalas. The first one is just on our classroom paper, which is 12 by 18 inches. Uh, a little later on, we're going to do one on watercolor paper that's even smaller than that, so we're gonna have to make a smaller wedge. And uh, this could lead into making other projects as well, so just get familiar with this process. So for this one, let's just say, let's use an organic line, and you remember that organic line is um, rounded and smooth and free-flowing like that and geometric lines are hard, angular, straight, pointy, you know different words like that. Um, so we're gonna do um, some organic lines as well as some geometric lines within this pie wedge. So the first type of line I'm gonna do is an organic line and you can do whatever you want to on this. You'll get a couple of pie wedges and you can play around with some design ideas. So that's an organic line. I'm going to finish it out with some semicircles because I know that they'll connect later on and make it more intricate looking. So a geometric line, like just a straight line. I'm just freehanding it on there. And there's this semicircle line right here, and that kind of shows where you want to end your design to keep it all within the page. Like I said, we're using um, a 12 by 18 inch paper, which means we can't get a diameter any bigger than eight, uh, 12 inches any, in any direction. So this paper is right at six inches. This triangle is six inches long on one side, which would give us a diameter of 12 inches. I'm gonna keep it a little bit smaller and then go just outside of that area, just a little bit with my design. Um, so that when I go to cut this out later, I have excess paper, but I'm also going to have an interesting shape to this uh, mandala. Okay, something like that. Then uh, <clears throat> once you have your design drawn on there and you like it. Don't make it too complex. Don't put teeny tiny little things in there. Um, keep it more on the simple side. So when you get done drawing your design on there, you're going to cut the paper out. Cut the wedge out. Keep it nice and straight and on the lines as much as possible. This is kind of rounded, but I want you to cut it as if it's a point. Make a point with it. See the point? And there we have it. Our pie wedge is cut out. So in the classroom, we have the light table. So um, taking turns or even using the window as a light table, we're going to flip it over to the other side and retrace our design. So I'm at home. I don't have a light table, so I can't do that for you. But the magic of TV, here is one where I have drawn on both sides. <clears throat> it's not perfectly symmetrical, and that's okay. Um, if it's perfect, then we could go buy it at Walmart, but we want to see our hand in it, so if it's a little imperfect, that's okay. So the design is now on both sides. Normally, I tell you all to draw lightly, like barely there kind of marks, but on this one, on this design, um, on both sides, you're going to draw real heavy. So you're going to, when you're at the light table and you can see your design, you're going to draw, redraw the lines from this side and draw it heavy and dark push down. Okay, so that is pretty much step one. The next step is you're going to get what I call the divot and the dot maker. So this is a circle that I folded eight times and on each fold I had cut a little v-shape out. That's called the divot. And then in the very center I cut a hole for the dot. So you'll get your 12 by 18 inch piece of paper right here. And you'll borrow one of my divot and dot makers. And you're gonna lay it um, toward one side of the paper, hold it down flat and go around and mark every divot. There'll be eight of them. Three, 
four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, I got all eight divots marked, and then don't forget to put a dot in the center. So when you remove this and pass it onto someone else to use, you'll have a paper that has eight divots, or little Vs, and one dot in the center. So to start putting your design on the paper, take the point of your pie wedge and touch the dot in the center, and then line up the left side of your um, pie wedge into one of the divots. And now we're going to, don't worry about what's happening on the right side, it's okay if it doesn't quite match up over there, but make sure that you're in the left hand divot with the edge of your paper and you're on the dot. And then trace all of your lines, pushing down kind of heavy. And something amazing is going to happen on your paper. Okay, I believe I covered all my lines. When I lift my, um, my pie wedge up, all those pencil lines from the back side have transferred to this side. So another, the next important step is when you go to the next space, you're gonna flip your paper over. That's a mirror design right there. So again, make sure you are in the divot, uh, sorry, the dot in the center with the point of the wedge and the left hand divot right there on the edge. Don't worry about the right side. And you're gonna trace all of your lines again. Go, finished. And there it is again. Um, some of the lines are a little sketchy and that's okay. I can go back later and go back over those lines to make them dark. All right, when we move to our third space, make sure to flip it over. Make sure you're on the dot in the center and the divot. And you're gonna continue in this manner until all eight spaces are complete. So see you when I finish. So this is me coming from being almost completed with uh, drawing out this design and I had an idea, something to help you remember to flip your wedge back and forth each time. If you'll label one side of your design as A and the other side as B and then go around on your circle and label A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, back to A, then I think that'll help you remember to flip uh, your design. So here I am to space A, flip over to side A, make sure the left hand side is inside the divot and the point is on the dot in the center and let's trace that out and be done. And there's my design, that's my mandala. In our next video, we'll talk about different ideas of how to color and make it even more beautiful.